Hello guys, it's Leon Bazin here and today I'll show you how to rig a car using Cinema 4D's built-in tools. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have Cinema 4D R24 or R25. Next, we'll need to clean up the car model. Depends on where you got the model from, you will need to clean it up and you need to separate the wheels from the body of the car. If you do it correctly, you should have nine separate parts. First, you would have the body. Then you will have the wheels, which would include the tire, the rim, and then you would have the separate brake caliper as a separate object. So if you do that for all four wheels, that should give you eight objects. And if you're having difficulty selecting certain parts of the car, you should just try to use the solo mode. Okay, once you finish that step, let's move on to actually rigging the car. You'll want to go to the menu under character Click the character button and under character, you want to go to car rig. From car rig, you press master and then you press car main. Now it's time for us to adjust the points to customize to our car. Under master comp, you want to go to adjust and components. Then you want to take that master comp root and have it go all the way back to the rear of the vehicle, the middle point of the rear wheel. And that would be the main base of our car. So basically you can see the initial layout of a car and we would just need to adjust it just a tiny bit more to get it exactly to fit our SUV size. So, it's always better to start from inside to outside and have everything centered between the hubcaps. So if you just follow along, you will get a better example. And if you notice, if you hover over those circles, you would see a pop-up of the name that will give you a kind of a identifier of where it should be placed. Since the car rig is already pretty accurate, you don't want to be too far off to what they already created. We are just going to modify it a few position points between the Z or the X axis to have it to our exact liking. So as you can see, our front wheel controller, we can just take it and we will want to have that at the center of the wheel. And don't be afraid to disable the other layers if need be, if you're having any issues in positioning the points. So once we have the front centered, you can also click on the back and we want the back and the front to be centered also. So let's do the same for the left side. Same thing. We, we move the points to the center of the wheel. And then we will do the same thing for the back to make sure they're all aligned.
can adjust the steering wheel and position it exactly to the model, but I don't think it's really necessary because in the end, I usually use spline anyway to navigate the car. But if you're gonna do hand animation, then it I think it'll be necessary. So let's try to correct the last few points. The wheel well bind is basically the controller for the shocks. So to move individual points, you wanna hold the number seven down and then pull down. And that way you can move a point without moving the rest of the rig. So as you can see, our controllers are working and everything looks okay. In the next step, we're gonna see how well our rig does and we're gonna do some animation. I'm just making one tiny adjustment here to the chassis. As I stated before, you hold the number seven and click on the point, the individual point that you wanna move and then you can center it to your liking. Now that all the points are correctly placed, we can move on to binding the object. Go to car main, then you go down to object manager. Here you go to full hierarchy. And now let's duplicate our object manager for clarity. So once we're here, we scroll down to root, go to view, set as root, and now we have a clean view. So select your nine objects, go to Reagan tags and click constraints. You'll want to bring the expression up to 100 and you'll also want to check the parent box under constraints. Now, once you go to the parent tab under each constraint, we can put the correct binding to our objects. So for body, we put the chassis bind. And for wheel, every wheel section, we're gonna put the front wheel roll bind under it. And for the brake cal the brakes caliper, we're gonna put the wheel bind. So you wanna do that for each left, right, and rear wheel. So you can follow along here for the rest. Now that's done, go to character and go to components. And let's test out our rig. Everything seems to be working well. The wheel is turning. Everything seems to be intact. All right, let's move back and forth. The car is moving back and forth. The wheels are turning. The wheels are rolling really good. So yes, that's it. So we have a completed car rig. Also a really cool feature is the chassis vibration.
coming up next if you want to move it around the spline i'll show you how to do that so you can draw a spline at the top any shape you feel like right now i'm just testing it out Once you're done with that, you will need to go back under character, master comp, controls, and drop your spline path there. Then you want to keyframe the position. And once that's done, you should have a fully animated car. So I'm gonna set up the camera to follow the car so we can see how it looks in action. Another cool aspect about this car rig is, is the ability to add collision meshes. All you need to do is add your landscape or collision mesh under the ground collision mesh tab in master comp. And then you just hit play and it just works. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.